What's happening, what's happening, what's happening? Of course you know it's your boy B-Hop Radio Shouty and stepping in the building, I got some legends off in this thing, some singles that I mean, they gonna tear up your party. Every time they touch <laughs> down, they got R&B on lock with it. <laughs> Sons of Funk, what's good what's with it, bosses? What's, what's up, what's up, up B-Hop? Hey man, feeling good, feeling great. Now yes, fellas, first indeed. of all, welcome to the A-Town, man. What is Thank it that you. brought y'all to the city to crank this thing up? Well, you first and foremost, Thank when you. I found out we can get an interview with you, yeah. baby, that was was like <laughs> nef- the hell with the breakfast club. Oh, oh, we oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good and morning, America. Nobody <laughs> be high, baby. Well, now when Indeed. Moby hit me up and yeah. told me about Sons of Funk, you yeah. know it was the door was automatically open, yes, okay? Sir. Because I mean, when I understand the guys get busy, and then when you come in on the recommendation of Moby, but then also yeah. being that y'all done already laid the groundwork Indeed. already, man, you Indeed. know we had to make this happen. Indeed. So I mean, talk to me about the team right now. What y'all got going on and keeping the party going as we speak? Man, okay, so. It's still Sons of Funk. Yeah. This is my son right here, RJ. He, What's up? He leading the pack. Richie Rich. Richie yes, Rich. Your son. <laughs> yeah. RJ, I mean, uh, uh, Zo, Zo yeah. Trani, he's still an original member. That's right. And we still holding down the pack, man. We got a hot one out now. Um, Sexy Incredible. Yes, sir. And y'all go check that out. It's banger. It gives you a little bit of that 90s, 80s feel, but yeah. bringing it to the, because of him. Okay. It, you know, it gives us that <laughs> new cadence. And yeah. That, uh, it's it's a wonderful thing, man, and we really getting a lot of traction from that, you know. And we but we got a lot of uh, we got some more pushing inside you on the album. We got yeah. one called Bus Baby that yeah. just gonna rival pushing inside you. Ooh. You heard me? <laughs> I be talking about pushing inside you when y'all dropped that banger right there, and everybody yeah. went crazy. I'm Nobody right. knew that No yeah. Limit could come with the R and B like yeah. that right. from yeah. a whole group right. in this thing. Yeah. Other right. than Moby yeah. Dick doing his thing going crazy right. at the same yeah. time. What up, no more? What was that like when y'all dropped that thing? Oh, my God. Let me tell you, this is exactly what happened. I remember, because, you know, we, we are all from California. Yeah. And so we gave Pete the song, and he dropped it. And I'm sitting at home, and Pete called my phone. My mama said, it's this man named Percy Miller, because she don't know him about Percy. She just knew him about Master P, right? Yeah. This is a guy named Percy Miller want to talk to you, like, really important. I was like, oh, my, that's, that's Pete. Yeah. I was like, all right, so you get on the phone. And he said, Rick, your damn song then outsold me. <laughs> he said, that damn pushing is rolling, bro. You heard me? Yeah. He said, what we're going to do, we're going to fly all, no limit to uh, the Bahamas. Yeah. We're going to give you guys your tanks, mm-hmm. your plaques, uh, Couple more dollars, yeah. You know, bonus because we, you know, how Pete do, yeah. And uh, and hell, we finna go on from there, man. Y'all, y'all have rocked it for me, and that's what happened, man. How did y'all find y'all selves on No Limit though? I uh, I met Master Pete when he moved from the Calio to Richmond, California, mm-hmm. and it was so funny, man. We uh, met at a barber shop, a very popular barber shop in. Uh, in Richmond on cutting it's called Mark's Barbershop now yeah. my best friend Rodney Alamo Brown was a barber there and I was always going there so I walks in and I look on his mantle he had this picture of these these these, these tall dudes with gold teeth I said when basketball basketball players start having gold in their mouth <laughs> you know what I'm saying I don't remember Magic Johnson yeah. uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, none of them cats with no gold in their mouth yeah. he said no no man they rappers, that's Master P from, from New Orleans, from the Calio. Yeah. I promise you, five minutes later, be high, he walks in. Mm. But he walks in with C Murder. He walks in with Silk. He walk in with uh, Servon. He walk in with Big Ed. He always had an entourage with him. Yeah. Now, what people don't know is, P, P is really a com- comic <laughs> genius. <laughs> He is hilarious, dude. Yeah. And all that, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, he about business, yeah. but he's also comical. Man, he yeah. clowned everybody in the barbershop. Oh, my God. He told them dudes, them wasn't barber license, they was fishing license. <laughs> 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 so so he spotted me. Yeah. So he sat next to me, man. This is real. This is real. I can't make this up. He said, hey, man, I saw you the other day in Sacramento at a place, at the Black Family Day. And your group rocked it. Mm. Y'all had the girls going crazy. And this is what he told me. He said, hey, man, if ever you make it, will you help me? And if ever I make it, 
I'll help you. Mm. Be how I was broken in glass on the concrete. You hear me? Yeah. Baby, I said, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to lose. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I had just was doing some things with Hammer. Uh, another member in the group kind of mess foiled the situation. I said to myself, if ever I meet another rapper, I might think that I'm just going to blow. Yeah. And it just happened to be P who blew, blew, blew. Yeah. I was going to be his friend. So he had an apartment where I live. Mm. Like I would see him when I got off work. He had a little duck off by my partner's uh, sister house. Mm -hmm. And then Sonia C. lived right across the hall from my partner's girlfriend. Mm. So when I get off work, I would see Pete all day. So we became like, you know, just, hey, what's happening, man? We um, we doing the thing? You know, we kept on like, yeah, I'm gonna help you, whatever. Pete blew. He blew big, bruh. He um, got this deal with Priority. Don't believe Pete when he tell you about they didn't give him no money. They gave Pete $250,000 yet. <laughs> <laughs> Pete was smart, though, man. Pete took every last damn dime, not didn't spend one, mm. and put it all back into No Limit. Mm. He pro I, We was riding down College Avenue in Baton Rouge, and I said, nigga, how did you do this? Yeah. Bro, what did you do? He said, bro, I believed in myself. I bet it on myself. I put all that money back in. Six months later, I had a check with $60 million. <laughs> oh, he said, I never looked back. I, you think? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I said, well, damn. Yeah. We rolling with you. <laughs> and man, uh, B, the man, uh, when we signed with him, man, um, you know, long story, we saw him in L.A., and I gave him pushing inside you. Yeah. And it took, P, P got an ear, man. You know, the, the boy, contrary to what people may, that dude is a genius beyond belief, man. Yeah. He heard the song. It took two seconds. Show feels down. Good. Sign these boys right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We going to give y'all $100,000 a piece. I said, wait, wait, wait. You going to finish what, bruh? Yeah. I, I the most I ever had in my life at that time was ten thousand. Yeah, and it took me about a, two years to say that. You heard me? <laughs> it, it was perfect timing too because at that time he was doing about it movie. Yeah, and you know what I'm saying. Yeah, he needed. You know, he, he had a lot of songs to go on the soundtrack. Yeah, but he didn't have nothing R and B exactly for the, for the love scene part of it. Yeah, so it was just perfect timing. Perfect. We dropped that man, and the momentum just whew, kept going. It's like from yeah. there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What was it yeah. like being on that tank after that I'm about it, though? Because, I mean, that was a pivotal moment as well. When he Ooh. dropped that movie, you Ooh. know, that kind of changed the game. And it also Ooh. showed people that you could be independent and do movies as well as records. Oh, yeah. let me tell you. Yeah. Every day I was pinching myself, bro. Mm. Let me tell you. One night before we, because we, we all bought homes in Sherman Oaks. Mm -hmm. Now, Sherman Oaks is a derivative of Beverly Hills, but they so snooty. They don't even want to be part of Beverly Hills, if, if you can imagine that. <laughs> Damn. So I'm in Oakland. Yeah. I'm staying with my pops because, like, I, you know, I don't know what's finna go on. Yeah. I wake up, pushing inside you is on the, remember the box? Mm -hmm. It's the number one video. Mm. And I'm like, that's me. Because I'm hearing it in my sleep. <laughs> I woke up, I'm like, dang, that, that's me. Oh, man, I couldn't believe it. It was like every day was Saturday. Damn. Then, okay, so watch this. Then we had some tragedy hit. Mm. P gave us so much money. We had another member in our group, Ricky J. Yeah. And Ricky J was a wonderful guy, man, but he had a few demons, you know, he had to deal with. And, you know, he got murdered, you know, Damn. God rest his soul. Uh, P called. He said, man, what's this I hear about your boy, Reek? I gave you all that money. I left you in charge. What the hell is going on? I said, Pete, bro, I couldn't contain him, dog. I couldn't contain him. He said, well, yeah, I saw how he was when he came out here. They loved him, though, because he was, you know, he was a street dude. Yeah. Pete, a street dude. Yeah. See, they all, they locked in with Rick. Yeah. But they also knew that he was, like, still out there. It was, yeah. You know. So that that's what happened. He said, well, I tell y'all what. Um, I'm finna fly y'all to L.A. to get on. I miss my homies, mm. which turned out to be a, a phenomenal smash, smash success. Yeah. So 
we get out there, record the song. He said, Rico, I need you at my hotel room after this is over. I want to hear what y'all been doing. I said, okay. So uh, we finished recording, and I uh, went up to his room, and the very first song I played him was, I got the hookup. Holla if you hear me, huh? I got the hook. He was like, boy, he didn't did it again. <laughs> he said, what I want y'all to do, don't even go back home. Mm. We finna, uh, whatever y'all got here, we finna go to Baton Rouge for three months. Yeah, Y'all get your mind right. Just relax. Think about the songs that y'all really want on your album. Start working on them. And uh, just just chill out. So that's what we did. So we, we in Baton Rouge, we kind of working on stuff, but we chilling. We got money, you know what I'm saying? We we with no limit, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. this, it don't get no bigger than that. Yeah. yeah. We was the, sh excuse me, the <laughs> shit. Yeah. I with you. And ain't yeah. nobody could touch us. Yeah. yeah. So, you know how Pierre, the colonel, fool, he called me one day, said, you got 24 hours to get your album together, we finna fly y'all to L.A. Mm. P, it's an R&B album. This ain't no rap album. <laughs> you, you want the money? Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. I want the money. Yeah, that's right. We flew to L.A. We it was Westlake. We was, went to Westlake. Yeah. Round the clock. Moby Dick was right there with us. Round the clock. Yeah, it was working. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. We knocked it out. Yeah. We shot him. Shot him the album. He said, oh, I'm finna have the limo come get y'all. Brought us back to Priority Records. He said, this is this the shit right here? What what kind of cars y'all want? I looked at Zoe. Remember that, Zoe? I looked, I said, I said, so let me test the water. Yeah, yeah. Aim high. Yeah, aim high, baby. Aim high. I said, shit, we want some Benzes. Yeah. Brand new. Yeah. Bubble light. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> He said, all right, we're going to go down to Beverly Hills and get y'all some Benzes. And uh, uh, Barbara, Barbara was the, like, the assistant, peace, yeah. first-hand assistant. Yeah, call up the realtors because we need to get them some houses out here. Yeah. I don't need them to ever go back to Richmond. Mm. Yeah. Because if anything, the people are not going to, they ain't going to understand y'all. This, this is just, and we ain't understand it, bro. It was yeah. like our life changed. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. He was just a baby. Yeah. I was How old were you? Nineteen. I mean, I was barely. I just got out, graduated high school, and it was it was a trip, man. It moved so fast. I was like, we was signing deals and and dropping and hit records, and then I would go back home to visit. And man, my buddies that I you know graduated high school, they still doing the same thing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And it was like it was like the Matrix. I was like the mm. Matrix. It was like it goes so fast and. You just in it, you know. Yeah. And before you know it, yeah. you, you know, you at another level, another level. And then we was producing for a lot of the artists on No Limit. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? It, it was just, it was a crazy ride, man. A beautiful ride. But yeah. When Ricky got murdered, though. Yeah. How did that impact y'all in the middle of everything? Because y'all just got yeah. the money; it's yeah. about to go Blue. down, and then you lose a member of the doggone crew. A, a lead singer. Yeah. He's he's actually this one you the second verse yeah. with the high voice yeah that was him my God imagine so it blew us back but we had to dig deep B yeah. B we had up from our heart we had to dig deep and say either we want it we finna fall right now God damn it or we finna get this you yeah. feel me we we from Richmond yeah and East Oakland yeah we wasn't folding yeah. we 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 rose to the occasion. And we came when I got the hookup. Next thing you know, we with the MTV crowd. Next thing you know, B. Talk to me. I got a house. You heard me? I go to the set. There's a 7-Eleven on the corner. I see uh, Eddie Van Halen. Mm. <laughs> y'all know who the Eddie Van Halen yeah. Some of y'all made This was back in the, this was back in the mid- 90s? No, like, yeah, late 90s. Late 90s. I was, I was with you. Yeah. He was... Eddie Van Halen back in the late nineties with a, a Lamborghini truck. Yeah, back then. Back then, <laughs> Lamborghini that truck. Back then, <laughs> that's, that's how he was bought. <laughs> and I'm like, say, bro, yeah. you, you the dude who did beat it. He's like, yeah, guy. So we got to chopping it up. Now this is all because of God first. Yeah. But 
Pete put us right there in the midst of the the, the yeah. stars. You hear me? Yeah. yeah. I'm at Eddie Van Halen house because I play guitar. You know, all, everything in guitar on No Limit, that's me. Yeah. I say, say, bro, could you play beat it for me? Burn <laughs> 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 Oh, God, damn. Man, huh, bro? I mean, we with all and everybody. J I'm singing Jay Z. I'm singing Puffy. But P had elevated our mind, our psyche so much that we did not. We, we wasn't starstruck about nobody. Yeah. We was no limit, baby. Yeah. We was the most powerful entity on planet Earth. When pushing inside of you went crazy, and that was like the first changing of y'all lives. Mm. How did that impact y'all immediately? And then, how did y'all maintain your humility and keep from losing your damn mind at that time? P didn't never let us know at first. Man, that dude is a trip. <laughs> we ain't know we was no stars. Yeah. You know how I found out I was a star? Yeah. C murder told me when one we got <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when we got yeah, the day man. home. Jim, uh, Bahamas, Bahamas yeah. yeah. He said, "Y'all stars, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Negro, y'all stars." Yeah. I was like, "We what?" He said, "Man, the world know about y'all. Y'all have no idea." I was like, "See, don't play, bro." He said, "Bro, y'all, y'all long." Yeah. And yeah. It, that's just like coming from P. If it's yeah. coming from C, yeah, yeah, yeah. How did that money change, y'all? When y'all started seeing the money coming in behind it, I mean, y'all done went and got the Benzes. You done went and got the houses. I mean, yeah. what was And that the Rolexes. Been? And the two guns, like Snoop say. <laughs> the Rolexes and the two guns. It's real. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was real. It didn't change us, man, because we were so grounded. He a PK, mm -hmm. you know, preacher's kid. And I, had, I was a little older. I'm 10 years older than him. Yeah. You know, so... I had was already groomed because I had got my first record deal when I was 13 with Motown. Okay. You know, and, uh, I met um, uh, 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 this guy named Anthony, Car Anthony Carmichael who produced Lionel Richie. Mm -hmm. And he hooked me up with uh, Anna Gay Gordy. So I was already kind of in a mess and I was putting in so much work. I was ready. Mm -hmm. And I had already groomed my mind to say, okay, when the money comes, it's just a product. Mm hmm a byproduct of what I'm doing. Facts. Don't ever get lost in this. Yeah. Because I'm gonna lose my, my creativity. It was a wonderful thing. It was, I was, I paid off all the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, she had gave some family members. My, my mom was, um, was, you know, she was fairly wealthy and stuff because she did real estate. That's how, I learned about real estate that I was able to maintain now. Facts. You know, um, I didn't do what a lot of guys did. I didn't go buy a bunch of cars and, and whatever P gave us is, was all I needed. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't need no more. Yeah. Because I knew. Yeah. It was very sufficient. I took my money and I bought real estate. And then I got into stock, and I do stock options. So mm -hmm. the money is exponential. Yeah. You feel me? So I, hey. Was straight by the end of it. <laughs> yeah. Being yeah. on that tank, man, No Limit, the biggest record label in the game. Yeah. What was that whirlwind like for y'all with all of these stars and celebrities around and y'all fitting right in and moving along with it and having all that motion? I, I got a funny story I'm going to tell you, man. Yeah. We were in Florida. At a, a football game. This is right before Randy Moss had blew up. Yeah. We were at his college game. And I'm sitting right next to Luke Campbell. Mm. You know what that man told me or uh, asked me? What? I know you, I know you niggas putting voodoo on them on them records. <laughs> 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 that, man, yeah. that man said, I know y'all putting voodoo. On them, I say, how you know, dog? We set up all the records and we yeah. light up the candles. I say, I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna die. Next thing you know, baby, we multi platinum. How you, how, how you live? Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know what? I think he believed it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, and from that, from that, that uh, Louisiana, New yeah. Orleans, Baton Rouge culture, it was funny yeah. because yeah. it was like, yeah, it, it was, to him, he was like, man, y'all. Y'all kept just producing too many hit records. Yeah, y'all yeah, y'all y'all got something going on other than how can you yeah, do how this? How can you do this consecutively? Yeah, you know. from the production side of things, having beats by the pound on deck, being able to get together with those guys and go crazy. Yeah. What was that like? 
beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Moby Dick yeah. totally yeah. embraced yeah. us. Yeah. Because yeah. we music, we actually, what people don't know is we are part of Beast by the Prown. Mm. Yeah. Because we produce just as well. Yeah. And we were musicians, writers, mm -hmm. the whole nine. Uh, the minute we came, we we, well, we gave them time with tail. Yeah. Mm. The minute we I mean, came. We immediately got a studio with Mo. Yeah, he, was, immediately. He, was, he was waiting for us to yeah, get something. Like, as soon as we got As soon as we got and remember we so we met Moby first time yeah. in the hotel room. Yeah. And Moby, man, it was funny. He well, had, you giving a fuck, yeah, bro? Yeah, bro, bro. <laughs> yeah, a big ass box of uh, crawfish you know, yeah. and potatoes and sausage, right? Yeah. yeah, he was just smacking and eating and, and loving this man, and we just clicked to him like you know. Yeah, he was instant he was, family. He's the brother, yeah, man. He's, he's, yeah. Oh, his soul yeah, he, he's, he's so saw. beautiful. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Putting out that album though, man. What was that like? Did y'all? I mean, that twenty four hour turnaround. Um, I yeah. mean, what was the creative process behind that, Bruh, Man, we had to just yeah. click in. And I thought about, I'm, oh, this is what happened. This is, what, this is how I really did it. We were in Champaign, uh, Illinois, mm -hmm. and I'm on the bus with Mia X. We had just did this show. And, and Mia X said, baby, what's wrong? You got that long look on your face. <laughs> I said, Mia, only thing I'm worried about, I, I want a house. I, I don't care about none of your cars. And She said, oh, baby, you're going to get you a house. P going to make sure that you know who y'all are. Because it still really hadn't dawned on us that we were sons of folk. Yeah. We we, st we were still just, in our mind, still struggling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It came. It took a long time. But when it came, yeah. P High Baby, when I tell you it came, in, boom. <laughs> <laughs> P yeah. made it happen. Yeah. 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 And, man, I'm telling you, so when we finished, literally, we got houses. Mm. And we had to go 30 days. The next thing you know, I moved from the Bay Area to Los Angeles, and I'm around all everybody that was anybody. Yeah. Mm. You know, it was just, it was ridiculous, man. Like, the things that P was doing. I remember sitting, we was shooting Mystical's video, Tarantula. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting right here, P right here, Mystical, Gilly. Brilliantly. It was Puffy on the phone. P uh, P bro, say, bro, bro man, can we, when we going to get together? I say, bro, I, I got to give him my artist, and I'm going to holler at you when I'm going to holler at you, P uh, Puffy, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know why we got to do our thing, bro. Click. <laughs> <laughs> P wasn't playing with nobody, yeah, man. man. What was it like having somebody like P leading the team, but he was no nonsense and getting the job done at the same time, and then also make sure everybody was having their way out here in these streets? Oh, man. One word. Go, go ahead. The colonel. He's yeah, the colonel. Yeah, call him the colonel. He can oversee all that stuff, manage egos. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah. he's all about, I need my product. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me the product, and you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Get your album done. You, you want a house? You want a house? You want a house? Yeah. Get in your, your name? Done. Yeah. I need it by this time. You know what I'm saying? We got to get the product out, and then you get yours. Come on. Yeah, give me mine. You get yours. It's get full it of wisdom, man. Yeah. Like, the things that he would tell us, I use to this day. Like, I, I for my son, I say, baby, this is what we got to do. We got to act like this. We got to be on time. P was never late for nothing. Mm. Matter of fact, P would be a day, or a day early. He was strictly business. It was nothing else, but he's very compassionate from what people, whatever they think about him, man, he would give you the shirt off his back, but he want the business done yeah. at record time. <laughs> you heard it. <laughs> 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 he, he might come in and check on you too. Yeah, yeah. Studio, he might he might pop in, yeah. check on you, look around, yes. see what's going on. You know, talk crazy too for a yeah. second. Yeah, clown you, yeah, clown you, yeah. And then uh, he up out of there, you know. Yeah, but he he, he kept things in order, man. And, yeah. Uh, were there ever any times where y'all felt like y'all were getting burnt out or y'all were tired of the game during that time? No, man. We were so so juiced and ready to go. Like I would go. Two weeks, we would go two weeks at a time and just produce a gang of beats. And I would fly from Cali to the Baton Rouge and get it beats with Pete. Pete would cut us a check for well, how much, like $18,000, $20,000, yeah. whatever he felt yeah. like at the yeah. moment. 
Yeah, that big. Uh, that damn like Louis Vuitton briefcase. briefcase. When baby, when you saw that, yeah, yeah you used to pay to pay that. Yeah, pull that pay that. Don't let him put. When he pull yeah. that sucker out, put it right there. Yeah. Just relax. Yeah. <laughs> you eat money. You eat good. That dog boy. We would go yeah. chill and just life was just just phenomenal. It was it was a dream. Mm-hmm. It was a to- totally dream come true. You gotta imagine. Pete put everybody's house in their names. So back then, which was 25 plus years ago, almost 30 years ago, we were homeowners. So we beat people out there who were already 45 and 50 years old Mm. in our 30s and 19 years old. We was already set. I was the only one in my family to, you know, had owned owned a home. You know, so I I was ahead ahead of my time. At that time, God. you know. What happened when it came to an end and it was time for Sons of Funk to leave? What was it that caused y'all to part ways? Or was it just the tank, you know, just things changing or whatever? What was it that, you know? I mean, do we want to tell the truth or do we want to give the, the Hollywood story? Well, you can say, this was my first. So we, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, everybody yeah, got we, different. Yeah, we got yeah. different, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I, I felt at one point the label was, I always uh, said this, was so successful it was a lot going on. Yeah. It was like, at, you know, at one point, P had to, uh, you know, he had to, you remember the, the Master P dog? Yeah. <laughs> the wrestling. Squeeze the stomach in. He, re- he was wrestling. Squeeze the stomach Basketball. Yeah. yeah. yeah he, he was sports management. He was doing movies. Uh, you know, and aside from all his other assets that he owned, I think it just got to be too, too much. Yeah. And it grew so fast. And it's like couldn't really focus on the music like we like we did, you know. Mm-hmm. And I think that's that's what kind of like I think us and and some of the other artists probably felt that way, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. What did y'all do after that then? Uh, shit, uh, it started reinvesting in real estate, kicking back and trying. <laughs> <laughs> we had so much damn money, it didn't make it uh, like it didn't make a difference. You know, but our first love is music. Yeah. So I, I had moved to Baton Rouge. I built this mansion. I bought a gang of property. Um, I got two beautiful twins and then Richie. Mm-hmm. Now, listen, y'all. He's not my biological son. Mm-hmm. However, I love him to death like he, like I put, he put him on earth. <laughs> yeah. Yep. He eat all my food at my house. Like, yeah. well, that's, that's it right <laughs> now. That's it right now. I, I'm pop. Yeah. Uh, one time, just this one time, we kind of got a little little spat. Yeah. And my son, my 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 biological son, saw it, and I said, "Well, how did you feel, baby?" When he said, "Pop, that's RJ. That's my brother. I know it wasn't gonna go no further. I love him to death." That's right. And. It's choking me up now. Yeah. Now the way you out. Richard, getting in the game with Pops and then cranking this thing up. What has the experience been like for you, boss? <laughs> um <laughs> uh, it was it was uncomfortable at first. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I, yeah. I was in a position because I'm a young artist, so mm. you know, I'm 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 trying to stick with the trend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he had me in uncomfortable positions doing different dances yeah. that I'm not, you know, I want to do my Chris Brown dances. <laughs> yeah. uh, he got me singing these old school, new school. Yeah. It took a minute for me to catch on, but That's it right. dawned on me. And it was like, you know what? This stuff is hot. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And I got, you know, um, he talked me through the whole process. Like he said, he, he taught me different things, even how to be more mature mm-hmm. up here and stuff like that. So, um, uh, the process is, I could say, it was uncomfortable, but it was fun, yeah. and I learned a lot, you know, so far. I'm going to say this, too, man. You will last a lot longer coming in with OGs. Yeah. yeah. Because you ain't going to crash out like everybody else because you got so much wisdom around you. The only downside to it is they going to put an extra 20 years on your ass, yeah. and that's what happened to my ass, okay? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I rock with the OGs, yeah. okay? But they going to put some extra years yeah. on you, okay? Yes. So, I mean, now, y'all still jamming. Yeah. Yeah. New projects. Yeah. What's happening with this? Man, we just signed with Sony. Ooh. Yeah. Huh, bruh? Talk to me. Red Room, Sony. Yeah. Uh, I think his the, the CEO is Lee Brown. Mm-hmm. Um, 
He's very smart. This, let me tell you what he did. He looked at and said, well, all these other Atlantic, Republic, all these other artists are... Uh, companies are looking at numbers, mm -hmm. and that's how we getting all this junk music out there. You know what I mean? Because that's yeah. all they have. And so these certain people got a certain amount of money to push theirs out in front of everybody else who might have really viable, long-lasting records. Yeah. So he circumvented. He got the deal. Then he called me. Mm -hmm. Then I called Moby. Mm. Then I called uh, Young Bleed. Mm. And I called Mercedes. Mm -hmm. And I called the gang. You, 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 you know about the yeah. gang's all yeah. here. Is that? <laughs> and I'm giving everybody a smash hit record. Yeah, you feel me? And with him on it, mm. it's gonna give you the new cadence. That's right. But that long lasting, memorable hooks. That's right. That makes memories, and, and it's gonna come from the heart. Mm -hmm. And that's how we coming now. That's hard. That's Indeed. hard. Indeed. Lastly, fellas, what do y'all want to tell y'all fans? What do y'all need to get off y'all chest? And how can folks contact you and find this new music? Now, you can call Josh on his <laughs> Sky page. <laughs> he, if only if it's major, he... <laughs> no, I, 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 ain't never, I ain't never been big on really social media, man. Yeah. But I be so busy, man, but... Social media. <laughs> is that so you still on your sky page? I'm gonna go my Instagram thing. Yeah. Man. Uh, uh, Lorenzo underscore Blaze mm -hmm. uh, at IG. And uh, man, it just fans be ready for us, man. We coming back. It's like for a lot of y'all that loved what we did before, it's that on steroids. That's just right. tell you so. Damn, bro. So y'all get ready, man. Y'all gonna see us. Come see us perform live show phenomenal. You know, if you want to see a show, that's go tell them about what they. Yeah, yeah. She, just <laughs> go pull up the Michael Jackson Bucharest live. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When we get a couple more little dollars, that's what you're gonna see. Yeah. We finna wow them. Entertain. We finna have the smoke, the bombs, the disappearing, the explosions, mm -hmm. and the music and the showmanship. We finna bring it back. So if you ain't got on your A game, Sons of Funk gon' fuck over you, bro. You heard me? <laughs> <laughs> Get in here, Rich, and how can they reach you? Yeah. Uh, you can reach me at Richie Rich underscore Sons of Funk on IG. Um, and to look up the music, all you gotta do is type in Sons of Funk. Everything gonna pop up. Google, iTunes, Apple, YouTube. And uh, we got that that pressure coming, you know. Uh, oh! yeah, uh, I like to call ourselves the bad boys of R&B. That's we right. Back. That's they ain't right. got too many groups doing it now, so we finna show them how to do it. Already, I'm here for it. Behind Radio Shouty, Sons of uh, Funk. Holla y'all in a minute, man. We gone.